everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a colorful bouquet painted with round brushes. I've cleaned off my wine bottle. Once again, this is the wine bottle that I do designs on and then I clean it off and uh, paint over it again just for the purpose of doing videos on it. I will be getting back into painting bottles. I just got a, a new load of bottles. I actually get them from a local bar that we go to or a restaurant. And so that's a, a good way to get bottles if you're going to be doing bottle painting. All right, I am using a number 14, a number 12, a number 8, and a number 6 round brush. These are all a magic round brushes. I do post my links below. They are affiliate links where you can purchase through them if you choose to do so. And then I will be using one number 12 flat brush. And then one of my beloved... Deerfoot Stiplers, this is a number eight. All the paint I'm using, I always use spoke art paint, a mixture of enamels and multi-surface. I am using aqua today. It's my favorite green, which is thicket. I can't say always, but for the most part, I always use this as part of my leaf color. Italian sage, typically I mix up the second color. I'll do different colors but normally I have the thicket as my main color. All right, wicker white, school bus yellow, yellow ochre, autumn leaves, and tea berry. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the largest one, which is the number 14 and on this design, I'm going to do four different colored flowers. I think that's how many. Either three, maybe just three different colors. I think it's just, no, it's four, four different colors. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with my autumn leaves, and I'm just sticking the round brush all the way into that. Then I'm going to come over to the white and then just tip it down in the white. So I have a little bit of white on my brush. Then I'm gonna begin, I need to push this out of the way, just going around and making, I flatten it out and I pull it to the center. If I need more white, I'll go back over it again. If you feel like the center where you pulled it isn't complete enough, just go ahead and paint over it. And keep in mind too, when you're doing this, the thicker you put your paint on, the better durability you're going to have in your design. On a wine bottle, it's not as, how to say this, because you're, this is more of a home decor piece, so it's not as important as if you were doing actual wine glasses or something to that effect, to have the you know, the design on thicker, because you're not gonna be handling this as much, but you still want it to be a nice, durable design. So I would still pay attention to that, get used to putting on your, your paint fairly thick. You don't want it to be so thick that it bubbles when you bake it, but you do want it to be durable. All right, so I'm just gonna Keep turning my bottle. I'm just doing the front. So this front is going to get pretty busy since I'm doing that many colors. But you can vary the size of your flower too if you want. You don't have to have it be all the same size. But just relaxing. That's what I that's what I try to teach people is just to do these designs. They're simple. That's what my, my channel is all about. Making simple designs anybody can do and go for it. Just have fun and relax. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is stick my brush into the aqua. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the white. Just tip it down. And I just keep adding paint as I go. And I'm sorry if my actual paint tray is not in the line of the video very much. I'm trying, I have to redo my video area, but I'm trying to 
cover it as best I can in the area that I have allotted here. All right, so I have that flower up there. I can come down here, add another one. I, for the most part, will just be doing wet on wet right now. So I'm not going to be too worried about picking up colors from underneath. So if I paint over a flower, it might pick up the color you know, from what's was painted underneath that. I hope that makes sense. All right, let's go for one more here. Here. This is what I mean when I paint over another flower. I can pull up some of the color from underneath. The best way to avoid this is to go ahead and give it some dry time. Hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer. If you don't care, then don't worry about it. And I keep pulling more into that. Every time I try to fix it, I'll just try to just put more blue over it here to fix it up. Now, like I said, I don't want to take the time right now to blow dry it. All right, so the next brush I'm going to pick up is my eight, and I'm going to stick it into the next color. And you see these brushes are getting smaller as I go. Tipping that in, it's this is the tea berry, and I'm going to just go around. Now, keep in mind too, as you're watching my videos, I am a left-handed person, so if you are right-handed, you might need to start in a different direction than what I use. So if you're trying to follow me and you say, boy, this doesn't feel, this feels kind of awkward, that's the reason. Just reverse it and go in the opposite direction of what I'm showing. But these are simple. If you can hold a paintbrush, you can paint. And if you need a surface that's really good to practice on, I recommend wax paper. It's cheap. You, know, you can do palette paper. Palette paper is pretty slippery too. Uh, just something that simulates because gloss is definitely different to paint on. And that's why I say one of the best products is, is wax paper. It's cheap and definitely gives you a very similar texture. All right, so I have three of those. I'm just doing these in threes, guys. You can do them however, however you feel comfortable. All right, so I'm dipping my number six round brush into the yellow ochre. I'm gonna tip it into the white and proceed. And I'm just gonna come in here. I can put in more of these if I need it. My space is different than what it was on my paper because I always do my designs on paper before I put them on the glass, just to know where, I, where I'm going with it. And I have more room on my paper than these bottles. So with that being said, a lot of times I have to kind of alter design a little bit to fit on the bottle. Yeah, I'm pulling in, see I'm pulling in a lot of color. Um, and again, if, if that doesn't bother you, then just go with it. It's not a biggie. All right, let's turn this a little bit over here. Put another one this direction, can you see? I hope so. And I pulled in some from that one. Like I said, you can vary the color too as you go around. They don't all have to be, your petals don't have to be the same by any means. The next thing I'm doing is I'm going to take my Deerfoot stippler, stick it into the yellow oak or the um, school bus yellow. When I stick it in, I do pat it off and I'm just going to come through here and put centers in. Just very, very easy. Just trying to tap them in. You can use a different size for each flower because my flowers are not all the same size. So there are 
different size deer foot stepplers you can get. I'm having a hard time for my affiliate links actually finding the original ones that I'm using. So I'm trying to just put some on that are at least similar. Okay, so I went through and did that and I'm going to go through, tap in some white. I'm doing this very quickly and I apologize my air conditioning is starting to run, but I'm doing this very quickly. Not spending a whole lot of time on the centers, but you get the gist. You can keep working them if you want more white in them. If you want to put a third color in them, this is my intention is just to be very simple and very free flowing. I don't want it to be anything difficult. Okay, so we're done with that. There we are right now. Now, if you didn't want to add any leaves and you just wanted to go around and just do flowers, you could do that. I'm going to go ahead and put some leaves in, of course. I'm a leaf person. I'm doing the thicket and the Italian sage. I might dip a little bit of white in. White helps to get it more opaque. And then I'm going to just come around and I'm just going to strictly be doing these kind of leaves. Again, nothing difficult. You just press your uh, brush down and then put your little, your little stems in. And you can keep on going here. And I'm just going to go different directions here. Hopefully I'm still on the camera. Like I said, I tend to do things in odd numbers. So if you wonder, that's just how I am with painting. I am going to put some paint down in the center here for some leaves. And you don't have to even do more than one if you don't want. If you want to do just one leaf and make it seem like that is sufficient, that is fine. This one kind of pulled in some color from the flower, which is fine. I'm not picky. If you're a picky painter or picky with things having to be perfect, then uh, do it. Make it yours. That's all I can say is give it your, your personality because it's your work, right? And you can even pull them up. Like I said, I'm being quick here, but you can try to cover up if you think that you don't like, you know, when the other paint shows. Just go over it, give, maybe give it some dry time and go over it again. That's fine. There's, you know, you can find a way to, to fix it if you feel like it's not the way you want it. It's one thing great about painting on glass too. If you, know, you really don't like it, then just paint it again. Just go over it and paint it again. I did pull on some color. I'm just gonna go like this. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad. I guess I couldn't be a surgeon today. All right, so let's just take a look at it and say, hey, where do I need to put some leaves on? Because this makes it more realistic when you put some leaves in our mix. If you were making it okay, it wouldn't strictly just be flowers unless Unless that's all it is, it's just flowers, but typically you're gonna have some leaves in here somewhere. You might as well make it look more realistic, right? Too much paint in your brush because I'm getting some other colors in here. Then just go ahead and feel comfortable. And what, you know, wipe your brush off on a paper towel kind of thing. It's pretty easy. All right. Another thing you could do is you could boost some dots, different colored dots around the center to make those stand out a little more. Again, that's up to you. All right. I think this is a very colorful bottle, very festive. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. 
And before you leave, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Very easy to do. Just hit that uh, share button that you'll find under the video and it will give you the options of where you can share it. All right. Thanks again for sticking with me on this video. I appreciate you very much. Stay safe and healthy and have a good one.